Hello, in this video, I'm going to take you on a quick tour of the Mailer Pro version 3 and show you around the back office of the actual system itself. Uh, so on the first screen here, you actually have a login screen where you can log in with your username and password. And once you do that, you just click login. And once you're logged in, you'll be taken to the main interface here where it shows the status um, of the last seven days shows you your unconfirmed, bounced, and unsubscribes within the system um, right here on this intro screen. And also on the left here, it shows you your recent campaigns. Uh, the first thing you want to do when you're starting a new campaign is uh, first you want to actually create a contact list. So on the left here, you just click on contact list and a drop down menu comes up and you click on the tab here that says create a contact list and here what you want to do is come up with a list name so wherever you got your leads from you would just pretty much name uh, the list name that file so we'll just uh, give it a name here and then you would put your name here And from there, everything is already done, so you don't really have to do anything else there. So you just want to fill in those two blanks and then click Save. Now, you can have several lists within the program, so um, you would just, again, create as many lists as you want. And then um, once you actually have that list created, now you can go to the next step where you import leads to that list. So the next tab you will click is the second one up here and you just click contacts and import contacts from the file. So you can select any list at any time to import to that list. So if you wanted to add more to this list, you could do that. In this case, I'm just going to select this list right here. And once you do that, it's going to bring you to this page here. Everything's already pretty much set to the default, so you don't really have to mess with any of these tabs here, but just make sure it looks pretty much like this, where it's already confirmed. So you don't really have to... Um, unconfirmed would actually make them have to opt in to your list, so uh, we're just going to leave it as confirmed. Again, most autoresponder companies, you have to... Um, import them as unconfirmed and therefore they would have to opt in and next you just want to find the file on your computer so you want to just click browse and I'm just going to go with this one right here and click next now if for some reason this takes a long time you may want to break your list down because uh, it might be too big for um, the system so if you have 50,000 or 100,000, you may want to cut, break it in half, and it should load pretty quick, just like that one did. So next on this screen, you want to um, match your actual data to the to the program here. So for example, this is the email address. So all I'm doing with the mailer is telling the system that this is the email address. So I just match the email address over here to the email address right here and the first name going to match that to the first name and then last name gonna match that also and you don't really have to import these other fields but if you want to like if you had the phone number for example you could do you know put those in there um, and this is the actual date that I originally um, had them on my list so if you had a list from AWeber or get response or any type of autoresponder you can actually just import um, again select the date if you wanted to so next you just click the next button here and click start importing so as this imports it's going to take a few minutes here and um, while it does that, I'll actually pause the video so you don't have to wait on that. Now, as it finishes up here, 
uh, you can see it, it actually will remove duplicate emails that are in your list so um, you won't be mailing the same people twice um, it also has a suppression list so if you have any names that you don't want to be mailed to you can actually put them on a suppression list and it will automatically remove them as you import new leads each time um, so as you can see the it was successfully imported the next thing you want to do is go to the next tab and create an email campaign so just click the next tab and click on create an email campaign and in this box here you just want to um, give the campaign a name and there's actually a few options here as far as the format you can send HTML and text uh, or you can actually um, select either one that you want to send so um, if you're looking to send out faster I would probably say a text would be better just because it gets delivered faster since it's a smaller message um, now the, the system actually has templates built in um, you can actually select no template it'll just give you a blank email or you can go with any of these templates here for better delivery I do suggest staying with the actual text messages just because um, they get more delivered without the links and the images and the actual email so for this purpose I'm just going to stick with no template and click next and here what you do is just fill in your subject and your message and and then your message would go right there Now the program can also do a few things. Uh, you can also put uh, different codes in. For example, the first name, if you wanted to say, hi, John, Tom, Mary, it'll actually put the person's first name right in the program. So all you would do is click the button right here, insert a custom field, and it will, depending on what you've uploaded into your um, list, it would actually um, give you those options here so if you imported a list without the first name or without the phone number it, of course it wouldn't work so as long as you import it that information then it will work correctly so we're just gonna click the button here for first name and it automatically puts it right there uh, one other thing at the bottom of the emails you want to make sure you put the unsubscribe so I'm just gonna click the button here dynamic content and then click insert unsubscribe link and it will automatically put that right there so you can keep it that way if you want or you can just uh, shorten it up if you just wanted to say unsubscribe me or any words you wanted to say you can actually change those just by um, editing that uh, information there now one thing you're going to do also you can uh, change the size you can add color to it also just by utilizing the editor here um, I always recommend keeping the message short just because the, the longer it is the more likely it's going to have spam words in it and therefore you'll get more than not delivered so I suggest keeping it short because when you use the words like credit, cash um, MLM any of those type of words a lot of times get flagged so or make your messages go into spam so I would play around with your message just to make sure you're not using you know a lot of unnecessary words and therefore you get more delivered to the inbox and also with the subject line you can actually put the code here for the first name also so you can put it in the front there if you want it to or you know anywhere within the subject line 
Now once you have your message done here, you want to copy the message and also place it down here in the text version. So the software will actually send either version, whichever the person allows. Some people don't allow HTML in their inbox or in their email, so therefore it'll, the software will automatically send this version. And once you have the way you want it in the, both boxes there, just come down here and click the button that says check your email for spam words. And in this case, you would just adjust the message to get the, the score as low as possible. But as long as it's green, you should be okay. Um, but once you get over here and it's, you know, in the red, uh, that's when you want to make sure you change it. And you can preview your email. Just put in your email address here and click preview. It should come right away, usually within, you know, three to five minutes just depending on how many people are mailing with the hosting company at that given time it may take longer just because they might have a queue in front of you so um, I would just put your email here click preview you should get it yeah, within a few minutes so once you do that just click save and exit and now your campaign is right here so so here I'm just gonna click send select the list I'm gonna that I want to send to I just um, click this one here click next and here you actually want to um, put in your from name so whatever name you want to come from usually best you know to use a person's name versus a company name you'll get more opens that way that's my experience but um and then here you want to select the first name and if you're using the last name you would just select that also and next you just click the next button here and then you would just click send my email campaign since I uh, just use a test message I'm not going to send it but you would just click send and usually within five minutes it'll actually start sending for you Another feature the mailer has is the actual statistics. So as you can see here, it gives you um, a snapshot of um, all the stats of the program. So it shows you when it started sending, when it finished sending, um, how long it took to send, and the total amount of leads it was sent to. And as you can see, it also shows the opens and unique opens. So. Um, what I'm going to do here is click on the next tab, Open Stats. It actually shows you all the email addresses of the people that opened the campaign. Now this campaign was actually sent in the summer, but uh, as you can see, um, it shows all those people as they kept opening the emails. So some people didn't open the email until September, some October, and even some here just recently. So um, that's one thing about um, emailing you know that once your emails are out there people continually receive them um, at their own rate so um, so the good thing is to you know pretty much keep being consistent and people will keep receiving your messages um, the next thing here is the link stats shows you all the people that actually open your email so um, you have those people there so you can actually follow up with these people also and bounce stats it shows you pretty much um, all the emails that bounce so if you have some list that you want to clean up it will actually tell you like email address doesn't exist so if that person you know closed that email uh, it's going to be considered a hard bounce also um, there's another type which is actually called a soft bounce a soft bounce is um, usually it will actually tell you right here for example this one says problem with remote service configuration or another reason for a soft bounce would be due to content so if um, so if the email actually got blocked by the ISP it would actually tell you 
soft bounce block due to content. So that does uh, also show you that within the program also. So once you get rid of your, all your bounced emails, you're pretty much left with all your good emails and those are the ones um, that you'll keep following up with and you'll get you know higher and higher conversions just because you're only mailing to all the good emails now. Um, another tab here is the unsubscribe stats. So it'll show you all the people that unsubscribed and it'll show you their email address. It'll also add them to the master remove list of the software so therefore you don't have to worry about ever emailing them again even if they're on a different list it won't mail to the same people again. So those are the pretty much the main stats and features of the program so uh, if you have any questions be sure to um, visit the site below the video or contact us and we'll get those questions answered for you.